Have you guys ever been in this situation where you're playing online and a how rank just mashes relentlessly and you cannot do anything to stop him? Well, in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to demolish these how rank players. So, to talk about how rank, let's talk about what his checkmate position is. So if a Horang is right up in your face and he does one of his like low high strings and you get hit or you block it, that's the checkmate position. Let me show you what I mean. So he has this string which is down 3, 4 if I'm not mistaken. If he hits me with the low, I cannot block the high. I physically cannot. And if I block both the low and the high, it's plus 8. So this is his like natural position, his best position. And you know, if you're in this position, to be honest, just take the 50-50. Don't try to contest because he has like super armor moves, he has tracking moves, it's not really worth it. But we don't want to be in this position. So against Horang, we want to run away. So practice your Korean backdashes and get it as far away from him. The only way he can get in is with his wild running moves, which I'll explain how to beat right now. Horang usually has like two to three forward advancing moves and the step to beating them is sidestepping them, either left or right because they're really linear. Let me show you what I mean. So this is 4 4 4 and this is while running 3. Let me sidestep each, full punish, and let me sidestep the while running 3. Full punish. Let's say you fail to sidestep and the Horan gets closer. One of their most spammy moves, which you probably see it online, is 4 4 4 4, which is this string right here. So to beat this string, you, sh you should just duck the last two highs, and then you can launch punish it like this. But if you block the last kick, it's zero on block. So if you both jab at the same time, we trade, which we do not want. So for this string, just, you know, duck the last two highs and you're good. Another move that they might use up close is back one. And this move steals turns. Let me show you what I mean. So his one two is minus three on block. So if I try to jab him, he hits me with a back one. Since he sidesteps to the right and he hits me with the mid. To, you know, deal with this move, just don't mash, and it's minus 14. So if you don't mash, you block it, you get your punish. It's as easy as that. One move they like doing in neutral is down forward 3-4. This move is pretty good. It has super armor, it has mids, and it's relatively long in terms of range. To beat this move, it's minus 12, so you just do your 12 frame punish. And I guess Horangs take every frame they give you. Because he has a lot of plus frames, whenever he gives you a chance to, you know, retaliate, you need to retaliate. So this is probably a move you've seen countless of times, you know, in ranked, and this move is down 4-4. Four, four. So with this move, if he hits you with the first, you know, kick, you cannot duck the high because it jails. So if I try ducking, it's physically impossible. And if you try mashing right after the kick, you get launched. So to beat this move, just duck the high and launch. And another way to beat this move is to just take the low. It does little damage and you're not risking anything. To be honest, you know, taking the low is not a bad idea. He also has his down 3-4, which might look similar to his down 4-4, but it's a bit different. Because with this one, if you get hit by the low, it links to the high. It's like a true combo, you cannot block it. And when he hits you with the high, he's plus 14 inside of his stance, which we do not want. So in order to beat this one, we should just, you know... Block low and launch, this, because this move is really good. Even if you block the high, it's plus 8, as we discussed earlier. Another move they like doing as a round ender is 1-1-3-3, one, one, three, three, which looks like this. It's a high high, low high. And with this one, it's the same exact thing. You just block the highs and then you launch it. It's as easy as that. The final move I'm going to show you in this video is his back 3. This is his kind of like panic option and it's a mid, it has long range, and it launches, as shown right here. So to beat this move, it's minus 19. You need to know that. You cannot let them go away with this. So since it's minus eight, 19, you can launch punish, and that's all you need to be honest. To recap everything, your number one priority is getting as far away from him as possible. You do not want to be close with him. Because if you're in close range against him, that's his checkmate position. So what he's going to do is he's going to use his forward forward 4 and his wall running 3, which you will sidestep left and right. Let's say you couldn't sidestep and he gets it. He's going to use strings, which are usually highs and lows, that you can just duck and punish. If he does not use those and he uses plus frame moves and gets into stance, you should just take the 50-50 and don't challenge him. Because if you challenge him, he has a lot of counter options. And that's basically, you know, how to be a rank. 
If you guys need any other character guides or character anti-guides, let me know in the comments. I hope this video helps you guys, and I'll see you guys next time.